I'm like five foot seven, and if you look, I can't even reach the top. The coral sorghum is like 12, 14 foot tall, humongous. <laughs> <laughs> Humongous. Let me bring you a little closer. How are you all doing today, by the way? I gotta get get some of the sorghum seed collected. Remember how I was supposed to mix this one with that one? And that one never did produce a seed head. That's coral sorghum. And this is a perennial sorghum. And um, the perennial is ready to pull some of the seeds off of. Let me give you a little bit of a close up of the seeds. Just gonna open a bag and cut these and put the seed heads in here to let them continue to dry. Or it looks like we're having a storm come up. And This one's produced three seed heads on one plant so far, and I bet it can produce even more. That one's not fully ripe, but hopefully it'll continue to ripen in the bag. There's some kind of brown like rust, like mold. And that's what I've been suffering with the last month or so is mold allergy. Everything seems to be molding. Let's put this one out and put it in. You can take the seed and you know pop it like popcorn or crush it and turn it into uh, um this one's not quite ripe. If you squeeze it and see the milk that comes out of it, it's really milky right now and needs to stay on here a little longer. See how brown and dry this one looks. Hopefully the wind won't take these plants out. That's a really nice seed head. You basically want to strip the leaves off. This one, see how black this seed is? This is ready to, oops, I just dropped that one. That one's ready completely. It's like the brown on the outside, I'm not sure what's going on with this one but I'll take it in and dry it out and I can't believe how tall and look at the red on there it's like blood red right there I don't know if this is rust I'm not you know a sorghum grow grower by any means what you do is take the leaves off these canes and then put the canes through a press and then um, get the juice out of them and um, cook them down like molasses to create a syrup kind of like honey or um, molasses. Sorghum is a form of molasses and an alternative sugar. Back in the old days, rather than white sugar, this is was what was used as a sweetener. Let's take a look at the different stages. This is kind of fresh, newly pollinated. This is a little more advanced. A little more advanced where it's starting to turn brown. A lot, a lot more advanced, but still in the milk stage. 
And then I've got the ones in the house already that are ready to harvest. So these are still going to need some time out here. With this being in a home garden type setting, um, the amount of money to make a press and to get the equipment set up to produce sorghum is kind of outreaching the benefit of just like paying 450 a jar for it versus making your own. Making your own, you know what's going on, but this isn't enough probably to make a jar of sorghum. It is enough to, you know, save seeds, and that's my purpose this year is to save seeds from this and um, return to the experimental farm network and keep some to regrow and with this being a perennial we'll see next year if it comes back on its own after the rain i've had i had to stop and go back in but after the rain look how much red has came on to the perennial it could be just like fall colors you know like leaves turning that it is time to harvest these plants and um i'm not a sorghum grower so only someone with more experience than me can tell you if that's what's happening. These are just getting ready for fall harvest with the rud. Or if it is weather related, we were hot all summer long and dry. And then the last month or so, um, lots and lots of rain. So these plants are in shock from all the turnaround on rain. Look at the size compared to my hand of the leaf on the coral sorghum. And I don't know if there's enough time for it to form a seed head to collect seed from. But luckily I still have some to re that I saved that I can try regrowing next year. This is a lot like a corn plant. I'll go ahead and put a link in the um, subject area of a family who produced this and for their income. And sh you can watch that video and see how much work is involved in processing the sorghum. And I'll go ahead and close for now. Thank you all for your time and visiting and watching.